next test, this is getting interesting. I've decided to put the other master one in a master socket in the house, plugged in, and it's all attached now. And um, the other one's still with me in the shed. So we're over two different room main circuits, or over two different fuse boxes, which is quite interesting because I was told it wouldn't work like this, but it's showing that they're both connected. So my my fuse box is up there, so it's got its own fuse box to the shed, and that's one of them connected and now the other one's actually in the house which is a good there goes, right back over there so it's a good um, I will say 30 meters away taking into consideration that the wire in through the house and where that gets all tail mapped back to so we're going from old cable to new install cable and we're getting 157 megabits across the link there so this is really interesting on this side here so let's give it a test then see if we got any loss so give it a quick speed test click on go and see what this is going to be sort of I expect to be a lot less oh I didn't expect to be that much less I expect it to be sniffly a lot less I was reckoning between the 20 and 30 megabits per mark but it's still showing it's not lost too much speed so that's going from the shed, new cable, over to the house, which is old cable been there for donkey's years. And it's going over two fuse boxes. So that's 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 pretty good going. I didn't expect that whatsoever. I didn't even expect that even to work. So um that's pretty good going. Slight loss, longer distance, still gaining 158 megabits across the link, but still reasonably getting good internet traffic down there. And that's brilliant. I'm I'm chuffed for that. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. There you go. Um, I'm not going to do any more tests now because in theory I've covered most of it. Unless I have to keep. Then it, I think if I did another test, I would have to move my Mac into the house so I can get closer to the, the socket I've got used in here. But um, connecting over such a long distance as well, going back to the house to the shed over a power line link. Brilliant. It basically means I didn't have to install. Ethernet cables to the shed, like I got away with just using a power line adapter, maybe the, one of the gigabit ones, the newer ones. But um, there you go. So if you've got a shed um, and you both got it's got a few, same fuse boxes and it's just recently been installed, it's another way of getting internet to your shed without running cables all the way down. Um, well, you have to run power cables, obviously, but no, you don't have to worry about running Ethernet cables. You can just do so the power lines. This is fantastic. And if you even just get gaining internet access from your shed for normal shopping and stuff like that brilliant for um, I'm just quite chuffed for that I'll maybe just do some more tests with some new ones so I'm going to get myself hold of a TP link the gigabit ones and I'll put one in the house one down in the shed and we can do some various tests on the new ones see if we actually get quite good internet speeds and see if we can get some good um, file transfer speeds as well so this is just a very simple basic test to sort of show the distance between the plug sockets um, and obviously using this old stuff old boxes now if I get rid of these so um yeah good old test done there so thanks guys for watching if you like this video thumbs up don't like this video put thumbs down and catch you on the next video do some more testing like this thanks for watching guys